All right, CJ, please pull up from CNN.com this video that you showed us this morning in our patron only group. And this is so the, the, just the headline. Be ready for this. Governor equates wearing a mask to freedom. See doctor's reaction. Now, before we reveal what's really going on here, CJ, roll the tape, please. By the way, this is Aaron Burnett on out front on CNN. Uh, Governor Christy Nome, Republican South Dakota, said that attendees of a 4th of July event at Mount Rushmore would not be required to wear a mask and the crowd would not be social distancing. Roll tape, please. Let me just put the contrast to Dr. Fauci today and uh, Governor Christy Rome. Here they are. You should avoid crowds where possible. And when you're outside and not have the capability of maintaining distance, you should wear a mask at all times. Uh, we'll be giving out free face masks if they choose to wear one, but we won't be social distancing. We're asking them uh, to come, be ready to celebrate, to enjoy the freedoms and the liberties that we have in this country. Sanjay, it's, it's again, I think, I don't know, and you know, I, I know you don't want to be political. I find that just incenses me, that she would equate freedom and liberty to the right to not social distance and not wear a mask. It is wrong. It is just awful. Absolutely, Aaron. I mean, history is going to, to if one, one of these comments is on the right side of the history and one is on the wrong side, and I think we all know which. I, I don't think there's anything more that, you know, myself or Dr. Reiner can say in terms of the scientific defense of, of wearing masks. I mean, you know, I, there's so many different examples we've given. We've shown what has happened around the world. We've shown in New York, Aaron, where you are, that healthcare workers actually ha were less likely to get infected than the general population. Now, why would that be? Uh, healthcare workers who are exposed to coronavirus were less likely. That's because they wore masks. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty remarkable. You see here just the impact of masks. They're not perfect, but they can decrease transmission sixfold. How are we going to get ahead of this thing? How are we going to contain this? We've got to break these cycles of transmission. This is not a very uh, hardy virus. It's scary, right? But it's actually not that hardy a virus. Can't jump very far. It's pretty contained by a mask. We actually could could make great progress with actually bringing these numbers down, but not if you hear what the governor of South Dakota just said. That that frightens me. It frightens me for the future, and it frightens me because there's people who are hearing that thinking, "Hey, we're okay." Surprise, surprise! More dangerous, misleading propaganda from CNN. First. Right in the headline, they took out the word not, which basically reverses the meaning of the headline. Governor equates wearing a mask to freedom. No, she equates not wearing a mask to freedom. So this is right away. You go, what is CNN doing here? Because if you read the headline, governor equates wearing a mask to freedom, you go, oh, well, there's a governor out there who uh, saying that wearing a mask is freedom. Well, I like freedom, so I'm I'm going to wear a mask because because the governor you know, says that that's a good thing, and then the governor says that's a freedom thing, so I'm going to wear a mask because that's a freedom thing. And then you watch the video and you go, oh wait, her words are the opposite. I mean, I I wonder if she gets to sue here. Now, this is Christy Nome, who you know, as as a, a governor, has has been a, a tyrant like anybody else, except in the case of Corona. As CJ and our friends from South Dakota's Libertarian Party have pointed out, she isn't really a friend of freedom. She just happens to be right on this one issue. And to hear Erin Burnett talk about th this being wrong, what she is saying is that she hates freedom. She doesn't have any respect for freedom at all because I have the right to not wear a mask. You have the right to not wear a mask. You have the right to stay away from me. You have the right to stay more than six feet away from me if you want. You have the right to wear a mask. You have the right, more important, like in all of these things come down to, you have the right to set your own level of risk. You do not have a right to interfere with someone else's life and violently interfere with police and say, no, the government is gonna set your level of risk. Absolute nonsense. And to hear this from, from Dr. Sanjay Gupta, like, of course, 
oh, we're, we're, I'm the doctor. You got to listen to me. Be afraid. Be very afraid. That way, you know, I can feel more important about myself. And this, when someone says, like, to make the case, and you, you know, and I mean, everybody does this. You know, they introduce other supplemental ideas and emotional appeals and appeals to authority. But, well, one of these is on the right side of history. And I think we know what it is. <laughs> I'm so right. I'm, I'm so right. I'm historically right. And they're so wrong. They're historically wrong. Not an argument. It's a kind of emotional bullying that only works for the dupes who watch CNN. And if you only watch CNN, you're going to suffer. If you buy their argument that we need this cure, which is now obviously worse than the disease, guess what? You are more likely to experience anxiety. You are more likely to experience health consequences from negative emotions. If you do get the virus and your cortisol levels are raised due to stress, you are going to suffer worse. Obviously, you're probably still going to be asymptomatic, but if your immune system is weakened, in particular with coronavirus, at least according to the propaganda, that makes things a lot worse. You're going to be more likely observing social distancing to experience a drug overdose, whether it's alcohol or something contaminated through the black market that is now uh, much more likely to be con contaminated because of the coronavirus state of emergency shutdowns. You're less likely to be able to adapt economically when they say, just go follow the leaders, submit, bunker, uh, hunker down and, and wait this thing out. You know, you are going, this kind of misinformation makes you more vulnerable. If you watch CNN exclusively now, if CNN is any part of your primary news source for just looking at current events every day, it is going to make you less safe. We're talking about a virus that is less deadly than mindlessly watching CNN. Yeah. Now, to those of you who do watch CNN, please stop. Please, please, please stop. But if you have been watching a lot of CNN and you buy the nonsense about the virus and you want to protect yourself, okay. You want to socially distance, okay. You want to wear a mask everywhere, okay. You don't want to go into any business where they're not requiring everybody to wear a mask, okay. You have that right. You do not have the right to tell me and other people who want to be free how to set our level of risk. And you have no right to use the force of government to violate our rights to be able to do that for ourselves using the police. Because that's what this is all about, Karen. When you say I shouldn't be allowed to do something and there ought to be a law, what you're saying is that the violence of government should be used against me for doing something that I have a right to do. And that puts you squarely on the wrong side of history, along with Aaron Burnett, Sanjay Gupta, and everybody else at CNN who supports this dangerous, violent, statist perspective.